Hello and welcome to my collection, the second part of uh, Atari 2600 games. It's time for the boxes and this is the typical Atari 2600 box. 5200, um, very similar. The 7800 looks a little different, but it's uh, the same size. Also really interesting you see, this is a ColecoVision. And this is a ColecoVision with an expansion model to play Atari 2600 games on it. Yes, it was possible to play on a ColecoVision Atari 2600 games with this expansion. Just think about it to play on a PS3 Xbox 360 games. It's nearly impossible. It was the same in these days, but CBS did it. So, coming to the next cartridges. We are entering the clone era. Strahlen der Teufelsvögel or uh, Beam of a Devil Birds or something uh, is a clone of a game that is also not very good. So, uh, we skip it. Venture. Um, an interesting game, but not my favorite game, so maybe you play it and uh, you can discuss it, but it's not my favorite game. Also really strange is a 32-in-1 game cartridge, but came, I think in Europe, uh, it came with a system of a junior. So we have uh, 32 games on it, um, I think basketball is on, fishing derby, where some uh, known games and very awkward games on it. So you get it very cheap, I maybe tell you just get it, It's you don't do something really terrible wrong. Riddle of Sphinx. Um, it's really unique. It's one of the very rare puzzle games. Um, it's really strange and sometimes, but it's also really unique. So maybe just look at it. Firefighter, you want to fight fire? You have this cartridge. It's okay game, but it's not that great. So can look at it, but it's not so great. Jungleland is an instant classic. The Atari version is very good. It's okay, it's very decent. So it's really playable. Um, I think four levels is it. I think you have played four levels uh, to reach a girl, I think. I think the, the target was to rescue a girl. Who knows? The plumber did it every day. So, it's really good game. Phoenix, a really nice shooter. And very important, used with joystick controller. Uh, it's a really nice game. If you are interested in space shooters, this is your kind of game. Now we're talking. Pitfall. Pitfall is one of the best games of a system. I don't um, have... Um, uh, I haven't Pitfall 2, The Lost Caverns, but uh, Pitfall 1 is very good. Uh, it's a typical um, jump and run and you have to come across seas, crocodiles and get uh, Gold Nuggets. It's really good. Missile Command. Also a very good classic. You have to protect Earth again. And you have to shoot the missiles. You want to reach Earth. So Earth will stay alive. It's your mission. It's really good. It's really fun. It's not very graphic detailed, but it's very good game. Championship Soccer, yes, it's a soccer game. 
nothing more. It's not that great. And a clone again! Landungskommando! Uh, no, you don't need that. These clones are very cheap, but uh, believe me, we're not so great. A boxing! Boxing is a neat game. It's very nice, um, it's, it's very playable. Um, if you get a chance it, chance to get it, get it. <laughs> Don't know, I have blue smurfs and black smurfs, but it's the same game. Smurf is a neat game uh, where you walk across uh, some levels and want to rescue a smurfette. It's okay, but it's not the greatest thing on the planet. And it's a lot repetitive. Donkey Kong! Yeah. The Atari version is not the greatest version ever. But it's Donkey Kong, so uh, you have a plumber and you want to rescue. No, not Peachy! The other bitch. Nobody cares about anymore. Um, so, if you want to rescue Pauline, this is your game. Um, but it's not the greatest version on this the system. The Coleco version version is much better. Asteroids. Very good space shooter. You shoot asteroids and they fall apart and uh, left new pieces. Great thing. You have to get it. Basketball is uh, an okay game. It's not so good, but it's it's okay. It's playable. If you're interested in basketball, I think it's, it's maybe the best Atari 2600 game of basketball. Where not so many, so uh, it's okay. Space War, uh, based on the first, maybe one of the first video games, Space War. Yeah, you have to shoot the enemies. It's really simple, but it's it's a very too classic and it's very basic. So uh, just look at it. Haha, <laughs> Pac-Man, the famous sprite disaster. Pac-Man is a neat game, um, and I think, of course, the sprites are worse, and it's not love, not like the arcade version, not in any case. But it's it's playable. As a kid, I didn't have any problems with it. So, of course, now we know this isn't the right version we needed. But uh, it's okay. Where well, a lot of games were worse. And for the final, uh, I think you never heard of ET. <laughs> Some call it the worst game of all time. I think it's a really bad game. Uh, you are ET and you have to find three, I think, three objects to uh, assemble a telephone and then go home. TT calling home. Uh, the problem is you fall 100 million times into halls. Um, the controls are bad, the graphics are bad, the scientists and the detective will piss you off so many times. But if you are lucky, you can beat this game in nearly 10 minutes. It's a bad game, of course, but it's not the worst game of all time. And uh, with cartridges buried in the desert, I think it's still uh, not real. Just a hoax. But uh, who cares? Um, who cares? Uh, it's Atari, uh, ETs, and uh, it's very famous. But I think as a collector, you have to get it, of course. And now just do it to complete this collection. I only have three games for the ColecoVision. Venture for the ColecoVision, Donkey Kong, a absolutely great version, and Smurf, which is also very better than the Atari version. So this was the Atari collection, a little bit ColecoVision, because it's not so great. <laughs> um, oh, I missed some. Oh, the double ender. I also get one double ender. I know where I think three, four, fives. I think uh, a double ender is a cartridge that you can use 
on this side and this side and it has two games Spikes Peak is a nice um, mountain climbing game is okay and Ghost Mana is a very strange ghost hunting, ghost hunting game with a lot of screens so I think this is maybe the best double ender I know with the games so uh, if you're interested I think you can get it very cheap because a lot of people didn't know about its existence so if you're interested maybe you can get it so now this was everything Please leave a comment, subscribe, do something what you want. I hope you have enjoyed the videos. Maybe I will do more videos about it. You can write in the comments what you want to see. Maybe it's possible. Do some let's plays or let's shows about some games. Who knows? It's your channel also. So, this was the Atari 2600 collection with a little ColecoVision inside. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye.